Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Japan episode number 13. We're nearly at war with the British. It won't be the first time. It probably won't be the last time. Hopefully we can survive this one. I feel like we're in a, a pretty sad plight. Uh, we have next to nothing in terms of capital ships. Really pathetic battle cruisers. They were, <laughs> they were once okay, but probably never meant to take on even, even another battle cruiser. And we have two dreadnoughts that, well, they have 12 inch guns. I guess that's all we, all we really need to say about them. So unless they're facing the Austro-Hungarian Navy, which doesn't exist when you're playing as Japan, maybe the Italians, I doubt the Italians even have such a weak set of ships, but we might as well take a look. Yeah, even the Italians have three, yeah, okay, 12 inch guns. Okay, so we can fight the Italians. They are a fair fight. Russians are using 13 inch guns, so we could also take them on. And I read, I finally, I looked closer, took a closer look at the 1.18 patch. Uh, it turns out that technology for better guns is less likely to come. So us getting, could not find where this was, us getting um, 14 inch guns is actually, I mean, normally by 1920, remember, rule the waves one. We're using 80% tech rate, but that probably puts us around 1915 in World Waves 1. In 1915 in World Waves 1, you had every gun. You had the 18-inch guns by then. Because <laughs> you were building, like, endgame ships by 1920. Okay, so maybe it was by 1920. So, But anyway, we're getting close to the point where typically every gun would have been locked. And we're, yeah, we're very far behind that. So I think this was intentionally done to slow down the... Frederick has said that it, it was an intentional breaking on the uh, release of higher caliber guns because he wanted them to become available a little less quickly. So we're Japan, I mean, that's kind of what we're expecting to face the, the big uphill battle, but we will get our Yamatos. I'm sure by 1930, we'll have 17, 18, 18 inch guns. Um, all of our ships wanted to show are ready to go. We have everyone in good position. Um, so as soon as the war begins, we have one 1910 who snuck in here. He's going to be rebuilt. I don't know if he'll make it back. Doesn't look like it put us below on tonnage, on foreign stations tonnage. I don't know if he'll be rebuilt and put back in Southeast Asia. Do we have a home zone there? Is this considered home zone for us? No. So I, I think he'll be put back in Northeast Asia then, yeah. Formosa is just a colony. Oh, it's so sad. But anyway, our, our objective in this next upcoming war is just to let our submarines. We have an insane number of submarines. I was looking at this, okay, we have 98, 94, I guess. 94 submarines here, and another 30 being built. So we are way, way ahead. Oops, we are way behind in terms of naval aircraft, but we are way ahead in terms of submarines. I also think that it's probably time for us to design our first carrier type stuff. And I think that we're gonna go to high on this and high on this because look at we are just woefully behind on naval guns. We're woefully behind on damage control, which in particular I'm talking about um, torpedo defense systems we're woefully behind on fire control <laughs> we can probably see how i mean we're spending a lot of time in the very beginning of this episode looking at some things but this is kind of interesting let's just take a look at if we were to design a ship somewhere else okay germany doesn't have okay we can't design it yeah so usa has um uh, germany doesn't have okay i'm feeling a lot better I'm going to guess that the UK has director firing, but the fact that the Germans don't, and they're usually pretty technologically advanced, it's showing so far that they are a technology leader. Technology leader, technology leader. We are backwards still, damn it. Looks like there's only two states of things, either backward or technology leader. No, never mind. There's very advanced? No, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Technology leader is something else. Backward, average. Okay, Germany is average, that explains it. They're just average. 
very advanced, backward, backward, very advanced, backward. Okay, so <laughs> most of the world is backward. <laughs> Doesn't that make it forward and everybody else is backward? Enough, let's hit the end turn button. I'm just a little bit worried that this is going to cause the war to begin. Not yet. And we will keep our intel with none uh, against the Russians. I don't know how it works. There's been those talks about, you know, alliances between the Brits and the Russians. Um, so I don't know how that works when they, we actually go to war, if they have, like, alliance-type stuff implemented. I don't think so, but it would be a bad way to find out if it suddenly happened. We're really not in good shape to fight the British alone, much less the British and, it, and anyone. Even the Italians, I just... <laughs> Just no, please, no. Oh my god, I was like, fire control, yes, yes, yes. Target designator, come on, where's the director? Okay, so now it's time for us to order another aircraft. we got to start building the... If we're losing in one category, it's like the perfect, perfect impetus for us to start investing in um, something else, right? Which, is, which in this case is the air. We're gonna go for, we can request a dive bomber? I don't think so. No, 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 okay, good, so we can't. Clear. So how's our torpedo bomber doing? Range of 94, okay, this is actually better than I thought. I thought we had a range of only 70, but that was the float plane scout. Probably good for us to get a better float plane scout. Yeah, well, reliability, we're probably expecting that to be poor for a while. Let's go for a flying boat, though, since we don't even have one. Range and speed, I would say. Or maybe... Yeah, range is going to be important. Maybe range and reliability. Yeah, let's do range and reliability. Speed is, yeah, maybe not as important. I have some like weird feeling that you should do reliability first if you're going to choose it. Called a gut intuition, but I have no backing for that. So, oh my God, I was like subdivision damage goal. Yes, torpedo. No, I'll still take it. But oh, 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 oh. By the way, finish, <laughs> who's also the creator of my thumbnail, has been so generous as to provide us with uh, a new set of images for our, our reports. So thank you, Finnish. He's just the giver who keeps on giving. So that means we'll be graced by some, you know, uh, uh, relevant <laughs> pictures. Oh, wow. Well, there we go. CVL conversions, right on time. They know, they know what we need and I have my list of ship names up, so we're going to go with it. <clears throat> I know that we don't have much of a budget right now, but I think we're going to be getting some new ships pretty soon. No, not really. Ten more months. Well, once we go to war, our budget will increase. Gosh. I do like this design. This would be nice to have in our battle line, like now, but... Only 14 more months. I wonder if we can actually make it. Okay, let's just design this thing. A conversion. Okay. This is interesting. I feel like the... The Oichi... Has earned the right. She has done very well for herself. She does have pretty high maintenance. Let's see, what's her gun? She has four eight inch guns, 16 six inch guns. Now those aren't case made, are they? Those are case mate. I don't think you can, oh no, maybe you have to use case mate. So what if we do this? <laughs> um, right, 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 right. We got to get rid of this. So that's actually 
Perfect. Um, we'll just take some four inch guns, I think. Oh, we have quality one six inch guns now. How do you, you put them on the side? Okay, let's do this. Well, I mean, that's not really the point. Can you only put them on the starboard side for... Does this work? Turret E is new turret. New six inch turrets must be in shielded mounts less than or equal to two inches of armor. Wow, they want me to put these in shielded mounts. Can I just give it no guns? I don't, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we only have one set of quality one guns in our entire arsenal. Thank God that they're the six inch guns. Couldn't have asked for a better one. Um, <clears throat> we can only replace these with uh, two inch guns, which is actually fine with me. Okay, well, let's just add a couple of these. Can you still put them on the, in the front? Yeah, I didn't think so, but I just wanted to, to verify. And maybe two more. These things will never be in combat. And, sorry, strike that. Should never be in combat. Still nine aircraft. <laughs> this thing's not getting out of there. Eleven aircraft. Um. Good. Eleven aircraft. Well, it will be the first conversion. I mean, it's so weird to have a light carrier with no weapons. I guess in theory it allows us to add like some four inch dual purpose ones, but we all know that the light carrier is just a stepping stone. Just a stepping stone for, yeah, maybe we can add just two six inch guns. <laughs> why, 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 why do we even bother? Um, guess we haven't invented this stuff yet. Just trying to figure out what we're doing. We have 105 tons left. There must be something I'm missing. It's just weird. I don't want to use not... I guess we can do this. It's just so weird. No, we can't even do that. Okay, just clear it. Just clear it. We're not going to do it. Uh, what would it take? 57. What would that mean? I guess, I mean, 10,000 displacement is very... Oh! Oh. Oh, 14. Okay, now she's slow as hell, but that's fine. Hey, she, she'll get along well with our battle line. <laughs> we made the weight remaining even worse, though, unfortunately. We're, like, worse off now, which means, hey, maybe we can get those two turrets. I know, by the way, I know. If I just didn't do six-inch guns, we could easily do this, but damn it, anyhow... They're not going to be six inch guns. Why even bother? Oh, I know what we can do. We can just put some light anti-aircraft guns. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of guns. Okay, this is going to be a very well defended. <laughs> very, very, very well defended light carrier. That's kind of good though. Okay, so this is going to be how expensive? Pretty cheap. Holy cow. Does the Oichi go so far? She's slow. Yeah, she's a liability. Yes, we're gonna do it. Here we go. First carrier. Might as well get this started, right? Oh, well, there we go. Here we go. Okay. We've been here before. Deja vu all over again. Oh. So, turns out, yes. Oh, God. So that was a surprise invasion, but it didn't give me a surprise attack. 
You got to be kidding me. Okay. Unrestricted. <laughs> it's not like we care. Nobody else who is anywhere near the tensions, so we're just going to try to Oh man, this is this this is going to be a very very tough fight. Okay. That's fine. We can do this. Let's get these guys on trade protection. We also want to put some of our light cruisers on trade protection, I believe. Or maybe it just doesn't matter. I don't know. This is going to be almost a lost cause. My only hope is that we don't suffer too many invasions. Russia. It, it, why couldn't we do a surprise attack on Russia? Five battle cruisers and two battleships in port. You got to be kidding me. I got all these destroyers for nothing. <laughs> I wonder if it's bugged if they join. I wonder if, like, if that joining canceled my surprise attack. I don't even know if you're if you're the Russ Japanese are supposed to be guaranteed a surprise attack. They I feel like they get one every at the start of every war, but maybe it's a percentage chance, or maybe as I'm kind of mm, fearful is the case, this was just a mistake and we should have been invading. Okay, so we have this underway. This is going to be a this is going to be this is going to be we need to. How do we even win this? Let's look at the points. 97, 91. Okay, we're okay. 53. Mmm, we're actually ahead down here. Well, 45 points. That means we need to sneak 15 points into the South Pacific to prevent an invasion. Let's see if we can do it. I don't need to invade Southeast Asia. I just need to stop from being invaded. So let's move our armored cruisers there. Yeah, this is good, 15 points. I'm just gonna move the whole kit and caboodle, all the Miobos. You're going for vacation in the South Pacific. Do your emperor honor. Oh God. Why? I don't know. Why did I accept? I didn't even look at the submarine casualties. By the way, note, Tortuga has become smarter. Making sure everybody can see. Okay. All right, we have our four battleships here. That's not a good sign. This really is, okay. God, oh my God. Oh my God. Where are my dreadnoughts? Wait a second. Did I put my dreadnoughts in Southeast Asia? I did, didn't I? Because I was not expecting Russia to join and I did not react. Well, there's, you know, the stories of honor and glory and the Japanese and well, we're going to have a lot of destroyer deaths in this one. I think it's the only way we can save our fleet. Oh my gosh, Sakhalin Island. So quick. We must, we want the oil. We must take it for ourselves. All right, we have control. What do we want to do? I mean, I, I kind of think we have to continue. Did they get stuck? Our port's right here, that's so nice. Um, What are you doing? Okay, I'll take control of them myself because I don't want them just to, you know, abandon my fleet. <laughs> Let's also take control of these guys so they don't do any weird turns. I wasn't turning my um, battle cruisers just to prevent that. Let's get everyone up to 20 though, because I do want to know what's out there. But we're very close to port. That's an, an amazing thing. Very, very fortuitous. Do we miss the enemy fleet? I mean, we haven't moved. Man, the British and the Russians. Starting to feel like we missed them. Starting to feel like we didn't miss them. 
Okay, how to do this? We only have battleships. It's such a, I mean, you gotta think about the hilariousness of this. We only have battleships. <laughs> I'm assuming that their battle cruisers are, you know, capable fighting ships. Yeah, 8x12, 8x13. Well, um, they're kind of capable. They're at least fast. 26 knots. This is their scout fleet. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? That's not their scout fleet. Wind coming out of the west, so we're on the wrong side. Time of day getting towards the end. So. Gonna make a decision to play keep away until night, and then I'm gonna send my destroyers in. Hmm. We only have two divisions. I kind of wish this was broken up into two groups. You guys are needed though at the front. I think what I'm gonna do is bait them in, pull back, send the destroyers in at nightfall. Okay, we have a plan. I don't know. I mean, what else are you gonna do? We're just so <laughs> we're pretty incredibly outnumbered. <laughs> I'm going to send this light cruiser all the way back around to the tip. He'll be my forward scout. We are cheesing the game a little bit. I mean, this is captain's mode. That's why my victory points are reduced by 20% if I win. Um, because I am able to do silly things like put a scout over here that is going to relay information, such as when he sees other ships. This has got to be battle cruisers. And we only have 11 inch guns, 6 11 inch guns. We don't have director. I guess they probably don't have director firing. Battle cruiser. Oh my gosh. They. This is a dangerous line. So yeah, we're going to have to rely on our destroyers to win this one. So we actually don't want our destroyers too far from anything. Okay, our torpedo range is decent though. That's the good news. We're opening fire at something. Oh, they opened fire at us. Never mind. <laughs> we didn't open fire at all yet. We are nowhere near range. That must be. Do they have 14 inch guns? We'll pretend that we had studied the Russian ships before the battle. They don't have 14 inch guns. So this is probably the. The Gangut class. 10, 13 inch guns. It's basically an HMS Dreadnought. 24 knots. Okay, that's faster than the HMS Dreadnought, but also heavier. 8.5 inch belt. Lighter armor. Hmm. 8.5 inch belt. That's something, isn't it? Yeah, it is the Gangut. Four inch guns. Interesting. Twelve inch guns. Seven inch guns. In doubles, so they will be pretty slow firing. Twenty one knots is pretty quick. I don't know. I don't know. Something tells me we have a, a shot here. Hoting class. This is the important thing. What are their battle cruisers looking like? Oh my gosh, it's a miracle. It's something we can take. But with a couple more behind it that we don't know if we can take. Alright, let's get these guys up to 20 because I do believe speed is one defensive weapon. Let's get them up to 22 even. Oh yeah, you can go that way. You can come this way. Get you guys up to battle-ish speed. Yeah, battle-ish speed. We're gonna take a slightly evasive action here. We are pretty much at port, which is fine, but it's still, it's not like we're invincible. I'm actually pretty confident about it. We're so close to port, this is actually okay. This is the kind of range I would like to fight at. 
if we're so close to port. Let's just score a ton of hits. Probably get hit three times whatever we get we hit, but still, we just go right into port. We lose the battle, but maybe we sink a ship. We get block probably gonna get blockaded for a couple months. You know what? Because this is how how far oh yeah, this is it. Squad max. Okay. Just all we need to do is survive for a little bit. Get these destroyers over there. Okay, give them the order to move in. We need speed. It's time. No, don't misunderstand things. We'll have to work on our signaling. And in fact, we're... Is this, are these the first... I haven't really been paying attention, but... We've scored the first hits of the battle. Probably because we've been on active duty for so long. This is a great start. And the Gangoot, with her relatively thin armor, she's probably feeling that. It's just uh, kind of amazing that our battle cruisers, look at that crew quality, um, have better belt armor than these dreadnoughts. Yeah, okay, they're like three times outgunned, but <laughs> 10, 12 inch guns versus, or 10, 13 inch guns? 10, 13 inch guns against six, 11 inch guns. It's a lot of tonnage they're throwing our way compared to very little on our side, but it's okay. Support line ahead. Where is the rest of this group? <clears throat> okay, so let's also pick out our destroyers here. Uh, what do we have? We have... I actually have built so many damn cruisers. Like, I mean, I built so many of these destroyers, I don't even know what's what. But they all have 5-inch guns. Wait, these actually have 3-inch guns? They do. 6 3-inch guns. Wow. We might want to keep those alive. Okay, these also... Kosami, they're all the same. We're sending them all to their deaths, but this is the noble, glorious death of a samurai. Okay. Please start listening to me. I mean, they're going to follow us right into port. We're actually going to be able to launch to... We can launch torpedoes at them. And we've done a really good job hitting them so far. This is this is amazing. Things might go our way. Oh, there's real hope. Oh wow. Is this the Ontake? Just just Oh my gosh, Ontake, what is Your captain should be very, very proud of you. You are just the gem of the fleet right now. The new Oichi. Oh, yeah, and now people are starting to take note. Oh, oh, Tor Tortogo's praise? Yes, I want that. <clears throat> wow, we've actually destroyed a turret already. Wow. <clears throat> Just as soon as this guy comes back to his senses. No, 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 what? What? Why is he acting like that? Okay, come back down. Oops. Come back down at maximum speed. Oh! Did you see that? He launched torpedoes <laughs> that way. Okay. Control yourself. We're still doing well, though. Oh my gosh, we're doing well. And I think that these guys, yeah, they're starting to launch torpedoes, I was about to say. They're probably in a good position to do so. Oh my gosh. Let's, let's target the Gangoot first. No, out of arc. Okay, that makes sense. I think I prefer that. 87. Yeah, I think I prefer to lead them a little bit more. Maybe even a low 95 is better. High 106. Huh. Well, let's just fire this high 88. Seems like it's good enough. 
kick our speed up a little bit more. Just doing so well. I'm, I'm very surprised how well things have gone so far. I just don't understand what that is. But let's get into the action. Okay. I don't know what you're doing. You're actually leading part of the group still, too. <laughs> I think one by one they're detaching and then I have to take control of them. <laughs> uh, this is absurd. <laughs> and we're, we're, the torpedoes we launched at something, God knows what. Slowly going over there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is a beautiful scene and you have to imagine that as, as the as it becomes twilight, as the as it's dusk out, you're you can see illuminated on the horizon from the port, the volleys being fired back and forth, and then you must see probably even feel the concussion of a huge explosion. Gangoot. Wow. Okay, so things are going well. We are getting the exactly this is happening. One one at a time they are detaching. So we'll take advantage of that, or just basically send them all, they're all squad maxing, yeah. Mm-hmm. One more turn and we'll have them all. Holy cow, what a battle so far, what a battle. It's gone very well for us, we should just go right into port and accept everything else. Oh my gosh. Oh, the Emperor will be very happy with this. With another torpedo on the way. Doesn't look like it's likely to hit, but... So... Um, I kind of want to run the line. Oh yeah, we're, we're launching some torpedoes now. And I think we've timed this well that, okay, we got up there a little bit early, in fact. Got there a little bit before the sun has set. It's okay, we still have time to line up the, the rearmost division. These battleships are like, hey, you know what? <laughs> I think we'll just let the battle cruisers take care of this one. The Ontaki is just on fire, man. What a, what a performance. First hits are being landed on the destroyers. We, we should have been giving them orders to deploy smoke. I'll do so now. Okay, we're picking on a new target. Oh, the other Gangoot is in tow. So turrets at 10 inches, yeah, I mean, that that's, well, shoot, I mean, our turrets are what, 11? Yeah. So, I mean, we have, we definitely have an armor advantage over these guys. The Ontaki should already launch torpedoes. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, the Kushino, maybe? I think they're too far ahead of her. Huh. Okay, that's a Charlie Fox trot of a group. We'll just let them let rain. We've done 21 knots. Yeah, this is where the main action's at. Let's see if we can get a few hits here. See, I don't know why that's not launching in friendly in the line of fire, but better people than me. <laughs> no, I mean, I've fully reported it at this point. All right, the Teora Takazi is getting ripped a new one. We'll pull her off. It'd be really nice not to lose a ship. Beautiful torpedo spreads, though. It's kind of what you want to see, just a ton of torpedoes just letting rain, letting fly. We're, we're not in any danger of getting hit by torpedoes right now. Probably just have to make sure that our battleships don't take hits. I mean, this has gone extremely well so far. I'd hate to ruin it for ourselves now. That is a lot of torpedoes that we're letting loose, though, so let's just pull off the ones who have taken any hits, which is already a lot of them, and... Slowly, let's let these torpedoes converge on targets. Hopefully get a few hits. Even if we sink some light cruisers, that would be great. Let's slow this down. I mean, I, I kind of want to enjoy the moment here, if you don't mind. 
What in God's name is that? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Come on, man. What? <laughs> what? What? Understand. What? Okay, let's move on. I, I'm actually trying to process this. I'm trying to think, doing a little like debugging in my head. I just, I, I, I can't. I actually, I just, I can't fat. I can't fathom a reason <laughs> why this would happen. I cannot. I cannot come up with any explanation. I'm trying to think, is there like a submarine hidden here that maybe it counts and fires at? Like, I just don't know. That is, that is a mystery. God, if it hits somebody, that'd be just horrible. Oh man, beautiful from the Koshino. Also delivering a deadly barrage of fire on the chasing destroyers. Oh, I wanted to go slow so we could see if any hits happen. It doesn't look like any hits are going to happen, very unfortunately. But we have six torpedoes on this guy. We'll wait for him to decide to open up. Although, yeah, oh, there actually are British. Champion class. And the Imperator Alexander the Third class. 10, 12-inch guns. Better armor, I mean, honestly. Well, we've already seen how that has gone for the... The Russians. Oh boy. I just still don't understand this torpedo. I don't know if I should be. I guess I have to turn to avoid it. It's crazy avoiding torpedoes like that. Alright, so let's try to do some maintenance of the battle line. Get everyone deploying. I mean, uh, deploying smoke. Mm, seeing some lows here. Is this the Gangu? Oh, Kimburn. Okay, let's fire at that. Seems good enough. What is going on here? Somebody's going the wrong way. Oh, God, this guy's still confused. Well, he's probably going to lose his life because he's an idiot, but I don't want them to enter the port yet, although, unfortunately, I don't get a chance to say yes again. I think I can actually click on the port. Somebody told me that they'll go in automatically. We may have to... Okay, yeah, and Taki took her first hit. But we're hitting... No, 3-inch guns. Okay, good. 6-inch guns. Yeah, still minor. Only mi minor fire actually attacking so far. Um, you have zero torpedoes. Let's pull you off the line. Um, you guys have all your torpedoes. The only torpedoes that you have any dealings with so far are friendly torpedoes fired at you. Still cannot fathom what is going on with that. <laughs> It just doesn't make any sense. Let's get the Kushino to maybe launch one more torpedo at the Hotin. No, both are expended. Okay, so she missed with both of them. That's okay. We have our hit. We had one hit so far, so I'm already a bit happy. And we have this destroyer line closing in. Unfortunately, they're exactly in line with... Now, we do have the 5-inch guns, but they're otherwise exactly in line with the British escorts, which we... I mean, the German... Sorry. British and Russian escorts, which of course we prefer not to be the case, but it was kind of the risk I took. I, I thought that they would pull back to the, to the east. They never did, so. All right, we are getting some hits on the Imperator Alexander right now, which is good to see. This is actually my battleship line, the old pre-dreadnoughts opening up. The Gangoot taking another hit from our battle cruisers. She's on fire? He's on fire. Pretty manageable amount of damage so far. Oh, this is bad. These guys are deploying smoke? They are. Yeah, we'll pull these guys off. Or. Or, or, or. This is a.
Yeah. Unless I can, no. So we're just gonna trail and get lots of fire and I don't think it's a good idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pursue this enemy battle cruiser that's pulled off the line. And we're gonna take some escort fire. However, I think we actually outmatched them in terms of guns, 2-4 versus R2-5, those are all the same. And here we have 3-4 versus R2-5, that's about comparable. So we're gonna have a, uh, a fairer fight if we turn back and just go after this battle cruiser. Or I guess that dreadnought, but not, this one is more isolated. And it's also gonna force the destroyers around here to make a decision. They'll either have to pull back with their battle cruiser, which will save the rest of the Ford fleet from dealing with all of them, or they'll have to um, just continue on their way and then we get the battle cruiser. So it seems like a good situation. Zero torpedoes means leave. Five torpedoes means go back in. Two torpedoes means don't get too close. Zero torpedo means leave. Also make sure, yep. Deploying smoke. Is this guy done with his little parade? Nope, not yet. Not done yet. Okay. Oh yeah, that, that's looking good. Okay, Kinburn, Ontaki's starting to take some serious return fire. Our destroyers are taking, well, not surprisingly, a lot of fire. Taki, Taki, Torioni. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of fire going against us now. It's not ideal. But this battle cruiser, oh yes, this battle cruiser. If we can get close enough. And because they are actually approaching us, and it's what's weird is we've actually curled around them and I think we'll continue to do that because we're we're probably in a safe protected bubble here Kushino if you have ah oh, you don't have any torpedoes oh, that's a shame there's still a lot of torpedoes heading their way we could get lucky with some other ones oh yes oh yes 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 Okay, just don't get in each other's ways, because if you do, I will personally, what is it called? Seppuko, hurry curry. There will be spilling of intestines if you get in each other's way and you are not able to fire against this guy. And it looks like it's gonna be a perfect situation. We're gonna take a lot of hits. In the meantime, you have one torpedo left. Let's just get you to fire it at whatever. No, okay, well, whatever minus a destroyer, unless that's the only thing you have a chance of firing at, which, no, you have a chance of firing at this. The Oleg class. <laughs> Good old Oleg. Okay, let's um, move you out of the way then. You're already deploying smoke. We'll see if we can save you. Hmm. Don't, still don't know what's going on with that one. I think they are, de or are re reattaching, which is not necessarily a good thing. <laughs> anyway. Um, 43 minutes. Well, it is a battle, so I'll plan to push this one all the way to 50 minutes. Here we go. Okay, we are going to suffer some really terrible fire here, but that's fine. Here we go. Here's the big stuff. Okay, continue to fire. Don't hold back, men. Torpedoes away. And I will have them speed up at this point. Okay, let's try not to get our light cruisers killed either. I think it's time even to just... I mean, we've already won this fight if we can call to a close right now. We just don't want to push things too far. so weird that we've got our own battle cruisers cut off. Such a strange situation. Man, this battle cruiser is actually going to be out, able to outmaneuver. Are you serious? Okay, well, we'll go for her then. She would be such a prize. Yeah, 
Yeah, all misses. Maybe we can do some damage against... Okay, what's your situation? Flotation damage with flooding. Head to port. Don't expect that they're going to try to turn around and face us. Yeah, it's going to be all about getting to port very, very soon. I mean, th th that's the crazy thing. They've actually done a good job cutting us off from our own port. Oh boy, I'm going to leave it there. So, um, nice tense little battle. Obviously, it's off to a very good start. Yeah, get, get back in here. We'll see how the nighttime phase of the battle goes. It's already twilight, and uh, the sun is setting. Hopefully not, metaphorically. Hopefully it's going to continue to rise, but we'll find out in, the, in part two. Until then, thanks for watching, and take care.